Yeah, for more on this, let's welcome in member of the Homeland Security Committee and New Jersey Congressman Jeff Van Drew. Sir, thank you for joining us. So President Biden opted to not make his first border visit during a recent trip to Arizona, claiming, quote, there are more important things going on. Uh, just recently, a Border Patrol agent was killed, um, a father of two, 38-year-old. What do you make of these comments? Well, I've got to be honest with you. If anything more important is going on, this president probably doesn't know what it is. Uh, this is how could anything be more important than having a open border, which is just allowing people to pour in. Some of them are in the terror watch list. We don't catch them all. When we do catch them, it's catch and release. Um, they're being flown all over the country. And it certainly presents all kinds of health dangers because some of them are sick. Some of them still have COVID. Some of them, as I said before, are on the terror watch list. Uh, and some of them are doing harm to those that are coming across the border with them, women and children and others. And besides that, most importantly as well, we have individual Border Patrol agents who are doing their very best. And this president just doesn't care about them at all. He doesn't even like them. He generally doesn't seem to like law enforcement. And they're trying to keep our borders safe. And he's never been to the border. It's unbelievable. I've been to the border. The majority of Congress has been to the border. Uh, yet he's never been to the border. I, I think it's an embarrassment. It's a shame on America. And it's a, certainly a shame on his presidency. Um, Congressman, I, I want to pivot, if I could, and just ask you your sort of initial reaction to um, what looks like a successful prisoner, ex uh, prisoner exchange between Victor Bout, someone whose nickname is the Merchant of Death, and Brittany Griner, a uh, WNBA star who was sentenced to nine years in a Russian jail for being caught with cannabis oil in her bag at a Russian airport. Well, first of all, she shouldn't have been sentenced to nine years. Uh, that, that's just too harsh a sentence for too minor a crime. Secondly, to release this merchant of death who was involved with terrorism and actually supporting terrorism in the United States, whose goal is to kill Americans and to kill those in American authority, is unbelievable. I mean, he's going to really you know, say that this is just a, a great genius move on his part. But frankly, he has let an evil man go, uh, you know, real smart on Russia's part because they arrest somebody for an extremely minor crime and then they exchange them. And what they get is literally the merchant of death back in the safety of their country who will, I'm sure, kill more Americans, more innocent people and more people in general throughout the world. This was a horrible exchange. So, was, so you think Victor Bout will be put story. back into circulation? I, I, I hope not, but I, I, what, from what I hear, there's a real chance that he will, and that's shameful. Yeah, that's scary. Also, still a U.S. ex-Marine, Whalen, he's still in Russian custody. Uh, you know, we're told, according to reports, that swap talks continue. Um, but now we still have this U.S. Marine, ex-Marine, who, who's still there. Yeah, he's a Marine, so the president doesn't really seem to care as much. Hopefully, we will get him out. But, I mean, it's a matter of priorities and doing what's right here. And, again, this is an administration. This is a president uh, every step of the way who hasn't shown the right initiatives for so many of the problems we have. This is embarrassing to America, and it's shameful to this Marine and his family and, and our military. No wonder we're having less people apply to the military than ever before, because this is not the way we, they know they shouldn't be treated this way. They should be treated with honor and dignity, and we should be doing everything we can to get him out. The AP had some reporting yesterday that the COVID-19 vaccine mandate would be rolled back as part of the uh, latest defense spending bill, uh, and that Congress could vote on this as early as tomorrow. Uh, do you see that as a positive sign of what a Republican-controlled Congress will be able to do come January? Well, it's a positive sign, but the Democrats didn't allow enough. So it's still a faulty bill. It's a faulty bill because over 4,000 pages of legislation, we got less than 24 hours to look at it, number one. Number two, uh, in just what you've mentioned here, not only should those folks get, you know, obviously what do them, when I say those folks, 
I mean, those in the military, but literally should be able to go back into the military if they want to. That was just another wrong-minded, wrong thing to do in the administration. And so now they, we've gotten half a loaf, which is better than nothing, but still not as good as it should be. It's still a disappointment. Yeah. Uh, frankly, they should receive an apology and be allowed to go back in the military if they so choose. That still has not happened, and that's still a great disappointment, quite frankly, to all of us. Congressman Jeff Van Drew, thanks so much for being with us this morning. We appreciate it. Good to Thank see you. Thank you, sir.